So, I'm currently streaming this because I'm slowly wanting to move into the streaming side of things. Um, people might think it's because a lot of other people are doing it. Honestly, kind of is. But it's also just because streaming is a little more fun because, well, I don't know. Like, live, uh, my channel. But either way, um, so I didn't do it for streaming, but recording wise, I finished the Sebek route for Persona 1. And now I am moving on to the side story of the Snow Queen route. Now, I just want to make this very clear. I'm not doing the Snow Queen route in a challenging way. Um, I'm not going to challenge myself, I'm not going to do shit like that because I think the Snow Queen route is a little bit harder than the Sebek route and after how much fuss the Sebek route put me through, cough cough Pandora, um, like if, okay, so just for people who haven't seen the series because I haven't uploaded it yet by the time I'm streaming this, um, the walk up to Pandora in the final dungeon kicked my ass. If I'd gotten up to the boss, I probably would have died countless fucking times against her. Um, so in the end, I had, like, it was either I spent days and days grinding XP against enemies that were deflecting my hits, not even getting hit by my hits, absorbed everything I did, or even all of them, and they were barely giving me any XP. It was either that, or I'd do what I did. I ended up using cheats to get myself to level 80, I think it was. Um, I ended up beating Pandora, and I don't feel bad about it, because in the end, I got to experience the story, and I'm happy for that. There's not really anything bad about doing what I did, besides the fact that a lot of elitist gamers will probably say, oh, you didn't do it properly, oh, you suck. I don't fucking care, guys. Um, but yeah, I was able to beat the Sebek route, but it really kicked my ass. And if the Snow Queen route's going to be any harder than that, then I'm just going to experience the story and I'm going to do what I do with Pandora's boss. And I'm going to abuse the cheats to make sure that I'm at a level where it's understandably reasonably hard. Like, not too hard. Like, I'm not going to cap myself. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. That'd be cheats. Uh, that'd be just cheesing it. Um, I'm only going to get myself to, like, level 70. Um... Because supposedly the bosses are like level 50, and then the third boss is like level 64, and then the final boss is probably much higher than that. So, for people who think that what I'm doing is an asshole move, you don't need a watch. So who cares? I just want to experience the story, and I'm not in the mood to spend days grinding again. Um, I know what Persona 3, 4, and 5 are like. I know I'm going to have a much better time with that, and I know I'm not going to use cheats for those. So... And I wouldn't want to either, I've bet Persona 4 and 5 without sheets. Persona 3 I haven't beaten, but I've played a little bit of it to know that I'll be pretty good at it. Persona 2, I don't know what that's going to be like, honestly. That's going to be like the, the roundhouse moment. I'm just hoping it's not as bullshit as Persona 1 was with its difficulty. Um, but yeah, we're going to experience the Snow Queen route. Um, at the moment, I am level... What level am I? Do I need to level up a bit more? I'm currently level... I'm <laughs> Okay, okay, you guys can experience it with me. This is basically what I've been doing when I wanted to level up. Um, boom. This basically gives me 500k XP every time I beat a enemy. So, that helps. Looks like, I don't see the point. I'm just gonna rant a little bit here. Why the fuck would they... Um introduce a story which is meant to be pretty hard because I'm um, like the bosses are like really high levels and they make the dungeons on a timer now obviously you could do this without the cheatsy part you just have to grind for a very long amount of time and I'd be willing to do that if this was in my own time but the fact that I've already done the Sebek route and that had me grinding for hours and days and whatever all by itself and it was only because I got to my low mind of madness that I ended up just giving in. Um, but what was going through the developers' heads 
when they thought, oh, let's put this very hard mechanic at the very beginning of the game and give them no time to grind. Like, is there something I'm missing? Is there like something that happens during the route that allows you to like time to grind? If there is, I'll gladly go back. But the grinding feels very slow in this game when you get to a certain point. Like the late dungeons were giving me like barely anything. They were giving me like a thousand XP and yet they're level 60 enemies. And that's exactly why I don't want to grind. Also, for some reason, this fucking cheat getting like maxes out my HP and SP, that's an accident. I didn't want that. I just wanted the level. <laughs> that's all I wanted. But I guess I had to put up with it. But like, I don't understand what went through their heads. What do you gain from that? Obviously, there's something I'm missing. So once again, to the people that think this is an asshole move, which it is, I fully commend that. Yell at me if you want. Um, I'm just doing it because I don't want to like have to grind mercilessly again, like I did with the other route. Um, this is just to save time, honestly. But like, I'm just very confused at what went, what, what was going through their heads at the time. Honestly, though, from what I hear about the Snow Queen route, got to be interesting at least. <laughs> Ooh, cheating, you suck. Fuck off. <laughs> if you want to see true, um, true cheaters, go look at some speedrunning guides. I love how I'm leveling Yukino up and yet she's not going to do shit. Because, wait, no. I don't know who my party's gonna be in this playthrough. Oh shit, I forgot to turn the, uh, shit off. I'm getting XP still, even though I left, I ran from the battle. Sorry, that was an accident. Fuck. Okay, level 76, who the fuck has? I don't. That was literally an accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh. My excuse is, and I'm still sticking to it, this game's difficulty fucking jumps. I need to be prepared for it. I guess when they made this game, they expected people to, like, put time into grinding. Was that it? Like, they wanted people to grind till their heart's content? I, I don't know. Here we are. Marky's mother should be here. Oh, what an exquisite butterfly. Hey, Philemon. Okay, well, I've already seen all this in the other route. Well, first of all, can you heal me, bitch? Thank you very much. And let's save. Um, this one. Okay, so there are several things you need to do to actually start this quest. It's... A little weird. Um, so I need to make my way to uh, two four. So second floor, fourth building, up fourth room. It's two five two six. Never mind. Yep. Devil Boy says his town got all weird because of a curse on St. Evelyn. I don't think now is the time for that, though it's admirable in its own, it's not in its own way. Okay, so now we head to the school library. Hey, Devil Boy. Oh, it's you, Canelo. So turn McCrory. You know the Snow Queen, right? Yes, the fairy tale. It's the traditional play performed by St. Hamelin's Drama Club. <laughs> Don't be so hasty. Listen to this. For some reason, the Snow Queen is usually performed while wearing a mask. Which brings me to my point. In truth, that mask is cursed. 
the students who wore it while playing the role all died unnatural deaths. Isn't that interesting? Supposedly, only one girl who played the part ever survived the curse. No one knows who it is. If we could figure that out, it might unlock the mystery. <laughs> interesting. So I head back here. And go to the gym. This fossil die down by the time the festival starts, right? Suck at the school festivals counted on all the chaos. Oh, hey. Time has come at last. The ancient passions cast on the stage will be free. Just kidding. Cool line though, huh? It's part of the script I wrote. Hmm. Seems to be nothing here. What? Sure. If there are any records left, you might be able to find something in them. But our president gets all upset if anyone asks about it. Well, president's the only one who knows about that play. Huh? What play? Uh, uh, it's a secret. I told you, I don't know any play called the Snow Queen. Give it a rest. Interesting. Oh, there's stuff in there. It's cool. Oh, Archery Club. What was the other room? Uh, Boxing Club. That makes sense. Fencing Club? Oh, hey, Canelo. How's it looking out there? You went outside, right? Is that cue ball still running in the shop? Tadashi, a lazy member of the fencing club who quarrels with T Tamaki every day. What's the matter, you scared? Go see for yourself, Freddy Cat. Tama Tamaki, a transfer student who joined the fencing club. She always she's always arguing with Tadashi. That sign over there says, need love. What the fuck is with the paint, like, pictures on this wall, what the fuck? What the hell? I ain't so scared of those demons. You're scarier than they are, you muscly freak. What did you call me, Freddy Cat? Freddy Cat, Freddy Cat, Freddy Cat. A oh, stupid muscly freak, muscly freak, muscle freak. Damn, that's hard to say. <laughs> uh, uh, she's seriously a piece of work, isn't she, Canelo? I'm gonna bloody marry her. Hey, Canelo. This is for you. I used it as my at my last school for stuff. I get the feeling this one's yours, not mine. Tame Rapier? Oh shit. It felt like a usual day with the usual argument, but something went wrong. Tomoki's amazing. She knew the names of every demon we saw out the window. She was going on about which ones were useful and which ones were antisocial. What the fuck? Wait, does that mean demons can join our side? What? How do you know that? Oh yeah, they're called personas. Ballet club? Ballet. Sorry. Seems to be locked. Oop. Why? Can we 
then you go to the third floor now. There you guys. The records I've already gone through and sorted them. It was no small task, you know. What? You want me to show them to you? Absolutely not. You have no idea what a pain it was to sort all those. If you want to know about the past, go ask someone who was there. Jeez. I heard you've been looking into the Snow Queen. I'll tell you the whole story. The actress portraying the Snow Queen here has traditionally worn a mask. But there was always something unpleasant about that mask. Sooner or later, a rumor started that the Queen's mask was cursed. I didn't believe it until that day eight years ago. The last one to play the Snow Queen was... Miss Seiko. Oh. Uh, Ma, what are you saying? Eight years ago, Miss Seiko lost her best friend. If only I'd realized it sooner. Had I forbidden the use of that mask, none of that would have happened. The mask was immediately purified and put into storage. But listen to me, you mustn't bring up Miss Seiko's painful past. Uh, hey, the principal is just joking, okay? Don't believe that junk. Hmm. Does that have to do with why Miss Seiko in the other world's always quiet? Because that was never explained. Like, that wasn't explained at all. Hmm. I never want to lose another precious student. Take care of yourself. What about you, bitch? Like, seriously, you're the worst vice president ever. Vice principal, I mean. Oh, you're still here? I'm busy. Get out of my side already. Fuck you. It's a box sealed with talismans. Open it? Uh, yeah, sure. I'm free, motherfuckers! Put me on, kid. I'll make you live a lovely death. Tan the Snow Queen mask. Jeez. Okay. Oh, Canelli, you still here? Closing off the gym, you should head to the main building. I haven't heard any, of the de any demons getting in yet, but who knows when they will. Hey, where'd you get that mask? Eh, uh, can't be the same one. Anyway, you should get out of here. Got it. Hey, Masio, wait! Oh, Mark's back. I don't even know if that really is Mark. Oh my god, Canelo, Masio's in big trouble. Kay was hurt. So Masio, Hideiko, and Eriko brought him back here. What the fuck? Wasn't it the other way around before? But then, Maki showed up out of nowhere. Isn't she supposed to be in the hospital? Something's seriously wrong here. Hey, Miss Saker. I heard Masayo came back. Yeah, but... So he and Maki went outside together? Oh, I have to bring them back. Wait, Miseko, if something happens to you, what'll the gang here do? Let us go instead. Oh, good point, Yukino. Thanks. Huh? What's that you have there, Canelo? That, that mask. Goodness. I didn't think it was still lying around here. Oop. Oh. It reminds me of my high school days. It reminds me of where I killed bitches. I wore this mask when I was in a play called the Snow Queen. Once upon a time, there was an evil demon. And one day, this demon made a mirror. The mirror blurred out the beautiful things of the world and made the ugly things a bit clear. The demon climbed to heaven, intending to do mischief to God while the, with the mirror. But the mirror broke on the way up. The countless splinters it broke into rained down onto, upon earth. And that is how it all began. There lived a boy named Kay and a girl named Gerda, and the two were close friends. But one day, tiny splinters of the mirror got into Kay's eyes and heart. The splinters caused Kay's heart to grow cold, and his eyes to see only ugly things. He even began to tease Gerda, whom he cared so much for. On a snowy winter day, a big white sleigh appeared in front of Kay, who was playing with his sled at the market square, and the beautiful woman on the white sleigh took him away. Little did he know that the woman was the Snow Queen. That was how Kay came to the Snow Queen's ice castle, far to the north. Gerda learned of Kay's disappearance, and despite her sorrow, she decided to embark on a journey to find him. Along the way, she overcame many hardships and obstacles, with the warm help of the people she met. At last, Gerda's love for Kay and her unwavering courage led her to the ice castle. What Gerda saw at the end of the journey was the half-frozen Kay, 
who had forgotten her completely. Gerda's warm tears gently covered him, melting his heart. Upon regaining himself, Kay burst into tears, washing away the splinter of the mirror in his eye. Hand in hand, the two left Ice Castle and lived at home happily ever after. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was actually a pretty cool story. <laughs> it's a neat looking mask. Yes, but some say it's cursed. I guess I can see why. It's because of this that my friend was... Come on, Miseko, cut it out. We've got enough to be scared of. That mask gives me the creeps. Why don't you just throw it away? Oh, sorry about that. It's just a silly school legend. Whoever wears it dies. Ha! Huh. I wore it and I'm okay, aren't I? See, it's so it's better if I went looking for those two. I got Lady Luck on my said That looks fucking terrifying. Ah! Miseko, what's wrong? What's going on? Oh, shit. Everyone's gonna die. Everyone's dying. Why is everyone dying? Why must we die like this? Why? Yes. Freeze everything. Was that meant to be Marky's table? Oh shit, we're in the courtyard. Maybe I shouldn't have leveled yet. Maybe I should have waited until I got my full party. <laughs> Ow! Huh? Oh, where am I? Come here, bitches. I'm not your teacher anymore. I'm your fucking mistress. Hey, this is the courtyard. What the hell's going on here? Well, look. Hey, Miss Seiko. You're a bit at psycho right now. <laughs> Sorry. Miss Seiko. I say... Oh. Oh shit. What the? <laughs> Finally! I've been waiting so long. Miss Seiko. Oh, fucking hell, stop saying that. Seiko? Oh, I see what's happening. Poor Seiko! <laughs> huh? But you are Seiko. But Psycho. Are you okay? Did you trip and hit your head or something? Is that mask possessing you? Ha <laughs> I wore it and I'm okay. Eh? <laughs> That's the Seiko I remember so well. Self-confident. Self-centered. She'd step on anyone to get to be the center of attention. What's wrong with you? Stop with the jokes, because they ain't funny. Jokes? Look around you! <laughs> You think this is a joke? Beautiful, isn't it? A peaceful, perfectly still landscape. You'll all be dressed in ice and stay beautiful forever. So come on over. What are you saying? You're our teacher, this is just... Oh, what a lovely girl. <laughs> come closer, girl, and I'll give you ageless beauty. I'll freeze you! Don't do it, Yuka. Yuka? Is that her first name? I say Yuka or something? It's the mask. It must have taken her over. Fucking possessive things. Now there's two fucking plot lines. Demons and this girl. Why the fuck is with this game? I'm serious. What the fuck is with this game? <laughs> okay, monster. You lay one finger on Miss Seiko and I'll be going psych- Oh, fucking hell. I gotta stop that joke. And your ass is grass! <laughs> 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 Taking her over. Oh, mask. It's literally just called mask right now. That's not very nice. Tell me, who was it who undid the seal of my mask? It's me. Who put it on without thinking twice? Uh huh. Not to mention, isn't it rude to go around calling people monsters? I think I'd prefer the Snow Queen. Very fitting for this mask, isn't it? Ha ha ha. Can it? What do you want with Miss Seiko? What a reckless young lady. Your teacher is going to be a sacrifice. A, a sacrifice? Yes, that's right. Seiko is so full of hope. 
if I offer her as a sacrifice. The stillness of despair, the eternal night, is sure to descend. Huh? Sorry, I'm dumb. What? What? Does that mean everyone's gonna get frozen? I hate being cold. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm not gonna happen. I'm taking back me Seiko right now. Well, aren't you brave? Fine, you can have her. But Seiko will still f stay frozen as long as she has this mask on. So will the school. And don't think you can leave. You'll see what I mean if you walk around a little. There's no escape. You only have two choices. Welcome the Eternal Knight, or take the mask off Seiko. Okay, but like, how do we do that? Ha! <laughs> Keep fighting it. Nothing's more beautiful than despair after a struggle. I can't wait to bask in your beautiful despair. What is this, fucking Dungan Rumpa? Hey, I asked you a question. I'm not gonna answer you, bitch. Bye-bye. Oh, shit. Uh, Miss Seiko. <laughs> Watch it, old Seiko in the mask. We'll both shatter into smithereens. I have a few rituals to perform, so there is still time before the eternal night. Why don't we pass the time with a game? A game? This school is now a castle of ice. There are three towers, each with a guardian. If you can defeat them before the clocks in each tower strike twelve, I'll turn Seiko and the school back to normal. I must leave this mask now and prepare to call down the eternal night. I hope you enjoy yourselves while I'm gone. <laughs> I'll see you later. Turtles! Hey, wait, don't leave. Oh my god, what are we gonna do? This is all your fault, Canelo. Fuck off. If you never found that stupid mask, this wouldn't have happened. How the fuck was I meant to know? Uh, actually, no, as the player, I did know. I wanted you all to die, that's it. You better own up, are you, are you a man or not? Say something! Stop it, Euchre. Pointing fingers won't help the situation any. It's not like Cornello knew what was gonna happen, right? Yeah, totally. But you, you know. What's, what, what's going on? What, what was that? Oh, uh, blinding light. Oh, Philemon, you've come to help me. A thing again. Huh? Again? Philemon! Talk to me, bro. Thanks, ma'am. Obtain the mirror frame. So our job's to find the mirror shards and put them in this frame, huh? Ah, uh, you can know, you know the towers are guarded by demons, right? Are we a little, you know, short-handed? You can stay here if you want. We won't force you to come, not when we don't know what we're up against. Uh, no, it's just... I'll do whatever it takes to save Miss Seiko. I used to be a lousy delinquent. Even my parents gave up on me, but not her. She never gave up on me, ever. Now it's my turn to help her, and my expertise can be put to a good use. Uh, hey, you can know. You're not planning on leaving on me, me here alone, are you? Because I'm not going with you. I feel much safer around you and this fucking bitch. <laughs> sure, whatever floats your boat. If we get stuck in a bad situation, I'm sure you'll help lighten the mood. Hey, holy crap, Yuka. Where did you get a gun? Kay gave it to me. Him and Masayo went to the police station for some weapons. But Kay got hurt, so they came back to the school. 
He handed me some guns and said to hold onto them while we went to the nurse. So I kept one for myself. Hehe, <laughs> I always wanted to try shooting one of these things. You know, school massacre. God, the wind's picking up. It's cold. My ears are hurt. Ironic, because it just started raining outside. Give me a second. Oh shit, that rain is very loud. <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't get picked up in the recording or stream. <laughs> Come on, let's go inside, quick. Yes, yeah, standing here won't do anyone good. You think the three of us can handle the demons and get those mirror shards? I don't know, maybe we should go grab a couple more people like Yuka said. Sure, sure, but let's get inside. I'm freezing to death here. It's probably frozen inside too. Miseko, we'll be back for you. 